Hey guys, it's Angel and welcome back to Angel's World. Today I'll be talking to you guys about the Daniel Fast, why I'm starting it, and how I'm going to be doing it. So if you guys are interested, then keep watching. So, the Daniel Fast. Um, as you guys may know or may not know, if you're new, if you're not new, I am currently on Weight Watchers Blue Plan. This has nothing to do with weight loss. This has something more to do with my spiritual health and my mental health so this is why i'm doing the daniel fast i'll be doing 10 days um it was very random god told me to do it yesterday i told my husband hey baby i'm doing a daniel fast tomorrow and here i am today doing a daniel fast so i'm still going to be on weight watchers it's just that i'm going to be in um i'm just going to be um not eating meat <laughs> so my daniel fast i'm not eating meat um i'm not eating any sugar and no animal products that's the thing um some people still incorporate animal products just don't eat meat me i'm not doing any of it because um i have done the daniel fast once god had led me to do daniel fast last year um january 1st i did it well this year i'm sorry this year i did the daniel fast i started january 1st and i ended on january the 22nd i think because i did 21 days and um it was the best feeling i ever felt in my life nothing else I could say to get you guys to understand it was the best thing I've ever done in my life and um I felt excellent um and it's just weird that I sit and think about it like how did I get from that feeling and now back feeling like this but I always feel like this around this year that's how I ended up doing the Daniel Fast January 1st because um usually it starts kicking in around september around when my dad died that's when it'll kick in um and i'll start feeling really depressed really down really sad my anxiety would be through the roof and um just started around when my dad passed then when my mom passed it really was bad so um i think that's how i ended up doing it this year at the beginning of this year but once again i'm back feeling like crap and I heard God tell me, you know, you need to clean your spirit. You need to clean your body. You need to clean your mind. You know, so you need to do the Daniel Fast. So that's what I'm doing. Like I said, no meat, no animal products, no sugar. That's what I'll be doing. When it comes to my prayer life, um, I'll be praying. I would be praying twice a day. Um, that's in stone in the morning when I wake up and that before I go to bed at night. Um, but in between, if I feel like I need to say a prayer or a quick prayer out loud or a prayer to myself, I will do that. This book right here, I got from Instagram, uh, maybe like a couple of months ago. Um, it just came across my feed. You know, how you just see stuff and I was very intrigued. So I bought it and I tried to do the 50 days consistently and I just was not able to do it. So I think I only got to like day three once it has nothing to do with this book it was all me so i plan on starting this again tomorrow on the first i will be doing this if you guys are interested comment down below and i'll try to link it and um and another thing that i will be doing during the daniel fast is reading fervent uh, uh, i read this with my daniel fast the first time the beginning of this year and it was excellent um and I will be doing this again, but I'll be taking my time this time because I am doing 10 days and there's actually 10 strategies in here. This is a strategy book on prayer. This is not a prayer book. This is a prayer book. This is a strategy prayer book. So these are already written out prayers for you in this book. And like it's kind of like to keep you to get you to be productive and things like that to get you back on your prayer journey. This is to actually show you how to pray how to make your prayers powerful and strategic one of the i wrote it down one of the um things that i found very interesting in this book and that i use all the time when i pray ever since i read this book is um she actually used pray so the p is to pray so that's how you start off your prayer you praise you give thanks to god you know um you show your gratitude to god that's how you pray we all know you start off with dear heavenly father or dear father however you started off but you give your praise and then R is for repentance. So you basically repent for, you know, the sins that you, you know of and you name them out and the sins that you are un unaware of. Because there's a lot of sins that we don't even notice that we do. Because with when it comes to, when it comes to us sinning, that's the only thing that can keep us from God. That's what built that um, disconnect. That's what pulls us away, you know, because he can't dwell with, with sin. So make sure you repent. And then you have the A for ask. So that's when you get to, you know, 
be the kid on Christmas, you know, with the Christmas list. Daddy, can you get me? Can you get me? You know, but we all know, don't be, you know who you are. Don't be talking about make me rich in 30 days. You watching this, you know who you are and exactly what you're praying about. And you ask. And then you have the why for yes. How you use the why, that's just you just reiterate with using a scripture. So you find a scripture that corresponds with what, what you um, are asking God for. And you use that. Oh my God, I hope that made sense. If it didn't, let me know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm I'm not a preacher. I'm not a minister. I'm not on a deacon board. I'm not in the kids ministry. I'm just little old me trying to talk to little old you so we can get our relationship with God back to back on track. Um, but yeah, so that's the way she breaks it down to pray to write your prayers down because this book is mostly about writing your prayers instead of you know you can say your prayers too, but the book is basically teach you how to write your prayers down and be able to go back to them and look and see like oh God did this or I still need help with this and things like that. But I usually write mine down and place it on this wall. So tomorrow you guys will see the prayer from today on this wall, which is about purpose. I haven't written it yet because I want to actually think about it, go throughout my day, and really write down exactly what I need God's help with when it comes to my purpose. So, yeah. But you guys will see it on this wall somewhere. I'm not going to read it to you. This is my personal prayer, but you will see my wall start filling up in these 10 days. This is another piece of what I would be using every day. This is just this cute little journal I got from um, Amazon like two, three years ago and I write all my little stuff in here. Everything that has to do with God. If it's a letter, if it's a note, if it's a prayer, if it's a poem, I just write it in this. It's a catch-all. I love it. Which made me get this one because I was like, I started reading, you know, when you go back and you read through it and that's kind of what that book is about for you to go back and read through your prayers. I found that I wrote a lot of poems in here and I was like, oh, my poems is good. My poems is good, y'all. So I was like, I need me a poem book. So I found this one. It's by the same people, I think. I'm not sure. But I found this one and it's so pretty. And I write my poems in here. This notebook is for um, my prayers. So I write my prayers in here and then I'll post them on the wall. I have my little tabs in it. And um, yeah, this is my Bible that I use. It is... NLT because it's easier for me to read and understand but okay and then last but not least this is my Louis Vuitton PM and this is my personal prayer journal not necessarily a journal um well, my my prayer agenda planner my prayer planner I don't know <laughs> but um yeah I just have like um different sections and if you guys are interested in this I'm not going to go all through it but if you're interested in it let me know down below and I will one of these 10 days actually go through this and tell and show you how I set it up and I like to carry this with me all the time in my purse um depending on what purse I'm carrying but usually I'm carrying um my um Louis Vuitton bandolier 20 30 yeah my uh Speedy Bandelier 30 and I like to throw this in there and I carry this with me all the time just in case I need to write down a prayer request or I need to read a prayer because people out in this world acting a fool out of hurry up and give me a prayer in real good so I can connect back to God and not be worldly out here. So yeah, that's what this is. If you guys are interested, let me know. And yeah, that is how I'll be doing the Daniel Fast. So today... I'm, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I have to edit this video because I know I've been talking, talking, talking. It is at 12 minutes, y'all. But for the most part, that is, these are the things that I will be using for my Daniel Fast. And I know you're like, this is a lot of stuff. Yes, it is, but it's throughout the day. And, um, I know what I need. I need to stay busy. I need to stay with my mind on God. Also, I just came across, because I, once I got done reading my book, I came across, I got to tell you this real quick. I came across Morgan Tracy J. She has a, um, a video that she posted today. And it's three ways to find your courage. And this is the Esther Bible study for women. If I have any women here that have been kind of off. And it's kind of weird because I just read um, the purpose. Um, the strategy for purpose. And then I just came across that video. But yes, yeah, three ways to find your courage. It's the Esther Bible study for women. Really quick. 
And yeah, I think you guys should check it out. Her name is Morgan Tracy J. She has her ministry on YouTube. It's excellent. She is excellent. And it's a couple of other women I watch on here. I do still watch my fashion, my perfume hauls and all that stuff too. But she's great. I think you guys should all check out her video. And that's about it, you guys. Um, tomorrow will be more better and planned out. But I wanted to come to you guys because I told you guys I was going to make this video. This is day one. Um, yeah, and my as of right now... I can hear God talking, but he's not hes not as loud as he used to be. I know I have some things I have to clear up within myself in order for him to be sitting right here in this video smiling at you guys as well. So that is what my plan is to do. And if you guys are interested on this journey, please comment down below. Like, subscribe. Um, yeah, if you guys are wondering what I'm going to be eating, uh, I can make some videos on it if you want me to. Or I can put it on like my Weight Watchers. Pay, um, it's the same page, but I can make it in like my Weight Watchers video next Monday. I can put the clips in there. However, whatever. Follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting stuff on there. Not like a professional, but it'll be there. And yeah, be kind, be you, be blessed, and be safe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.